Mendoza 520. Hi, I'm Tony Kingston. My job is all about working with animals in the most primitive habitats in Africa, South America, and everywhere else in the world. Madagascar, Seychelles, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Amazon, Philippines, Komodo Island, Indonesia, Borneo, just to name a few. Back in the city, I like to promote conservation by sharing my wildlife experiences. Behavioral enrichment, wildlife rehabilitation, wildlife education, conservation campaigns. Different animals that are mammals, not reptiles. They are small, and very spiky, a lot of quills in the back, and they have gone viral lately because a lot of people keeping them as exotic pets and putting photos and videos of them on Instagram, and they have gone viral. Everyone has seen the face, and they would say, ah, so cute, and they are the hedgehogs. So these animals with such a cute face, everyone loves to have one. So lately they have become one of the very, very common pets now. But for me, what I'm interested in them is more about their natural history and how they live in the wild because I can learn a lot more about these animals in the wild than keeping them as pets. So hedgehogs, they have a lot of spice and quills on the back and many people are confused about porcupines and hedgehogs and they are two different kinds of animals. Actually porcupines are rodents and hedgehogs despite the look of rodent like look but they are not rodents. Okay, hedgehogs, there are around 17 species of different hedgehogs around the world in Africa, Europe and Asia. There are no hedgehogs in Australia, there are only echidnas in Australia. And in the America, there used to be hedgehogs, but they're now all extinct. If you're confused how to tell hedgehogs from other unrelated prickly mammals, such as the porcupines and echidnas, the next one is going to be even more confusing. So this is the lesser hedgehog tenrec I found in southern Madagascar. So tenrecs are endemic to Madagascar. Some resemble hedgehogs as a result of convergent evolution. I know what you're thinking, but no, tenrecs are not hedgehogs. They're not even related. There are no native hedgehogs in Madagascar. Not until the late 90s, we started to understand that tenrecs are actually more closely related to arthropods, hyrexes, seed cows, and elephants than other prickly mammals like the hedgehogs, porcupines, and echidnas. How amazing! Two unrelated species from two different parts of the world have evolved same features as a result of convergent evolution. Most people heard about hedgehogs and have learned about hedgehogs from the European hedgehogs, which is quite common in the UK and the rest of Europe. They are darker in the body and they have a darker face and bigger body than the African hedgehogs I have in here. So the African hedgehogs are small in size and they have a lighter color of face and body. But same like the European hedgehogs, when they are shy or when they're frightened, they will coil into a ball. When they are really, really scared, they will coil into a ball like this, even closing the face to protect their body. So the hedgehogs are considered nocturnal creatures, but in Africa, I have found them coming out during twilight. So I guess they're also crepuscular animals. So whenever there's suitable temperature or their chance uh, they can get their prey, they will try to wake up and follow after their prey. 
I have seen these guys walking past some big predators like even a lion. I've seen one of these hedgehogs walking right past by a lion without anything happen. What? So the lions wouldn't want to um, prey on these animals because... <laughs> if you are feeling the quills in here, when they're relaxed, it's not really spiky. But when they are in their defensive mode, they will call into a ball and all spikes pointing outward. That would be really spiky. You can imagine not many animals would like to put something like this in their mouth. So this is probably one of the ways how they protect themselves. But I did see hedgehogs being preyed on by birds of prey, just like eagle owls. I've seen some eagle owls eating hedgehogs in Africa. So other than coiling into a ball, there is also other defensive behavior of the hedgehog. So they, um, when they come across or encounter some new objects with new smell, they will lick an object and chew and mix it with the saliva and put it on its own back. This is called self-anointing. So putting foreign smell on their back, which can make irritating feeling when just like I'm now holding him, my hands feel a little itchy because there are irritating things on the quills. So the hedgehog looks really cute. You may think they make really good pets. Maybe, maybe they make good pets. But if you find them in the wild, they are ferocious predators. They will try to prey on almost any kind of small animals they can get. They are not only insectivores, but also I have seen them eating vipers, deadly vipers. What? Oh my God, you eat snakes! So they um, have high tolerance towards snake venom. So being bitten by venomous snakes, the hedgehogs can perform better than other animals that are beaten by venomous snakes. So not only can they walk on ground, but they can also climb trees. They can swim a little, not the best swimmer, but still they can swim a little. So the other thing I want to talk about hedgehog is they are very, very primitive in terms of mammals because they are the very first group of animals ever existed in the world during evolution. So these animals are more related to shrews than rodents. They are very, very far away from rodents. Despite the look of being like rodents, they are more related to shrews and... Oh, check that one. Look at that one. He's chewing the leaf, which is new to, to her. So I guess he's now mixing it with her saliva. And then when, when she can make some form of saliva, she will then lick her own back and put some white form on the back. That would be very irritating when we're handling her with that saliva. Oh, there you go. Self-anointing. Wow. She heard what I say. She's not showing self-anointing behavior. She's not showing self-anointing behavior. It can also help them to put some mixed scent on their body to get rid of the predators who are chasing them. Such smart behavior to survive in the wild. So here in my hand, a white hedgehog, just like all albino animals. Wow, this one is very shy because she's new. So this is exactly how they protect themselves in the wild. This is the main defense mechanism. They coil into a ball, causing all spikes pointing outward. That'd be really spiky now. So you can imagine no animals would like to put them in the mouth. Just like this beautiful white hedgehog. The only one thing that albino hedgehogs are different from normal hedgehog, not only the color, but um, because albino animals have red eyes, they have poorer eyesight than normal hedgehogs. But it doesn't matter because even normal hedgehogs don't have perfect eyesight. They rely on their smell and scent to sense the environment. So albino hedgehogs, they actually they can survive in the wild because they're nocturnal creatures. They come out during nighttime, so being white doesn't make them stand out too much. So because normally other diurnal species of albino animals, they have problem blending in the environment because of lack of camouflage. So, but the albino hedgehogs is better. So they can still survive in the wild. All right, there you go. She's biting me. It happens a lot. So when they like, oh, all right, wow. It hurts, come on. It hurts, come on. It's, it's all right, you have a cute face. Can you remember a name of the prickly mammals in this video?
What's the difference between these animals and the Porsche? Change it to Ferrari in case if you have a Porsche.